I'm like, a master sequencer. I, yeah, I pride myself in that. Which is, I think my best question. job was Rihanna's album. If you listen to Rihanna's album, it's flawless. Yeah. You know, as far as the sequence. As far as knowing that. That's a grand your, question, but... Huh? That's like a big grand question. Like, what's your mm. philosophy? No, no, that's, that's, that's pretty much a great question. I could answer that one much better than pulling lyrics. So okay. that's, that's <laughs> easy for me. Um, the, the album, you want it to feel, you want it to have an arc, right? You mm. want it to have a beginning, right? I'm, I'm going to give this away for everybody can have great sequence because I want to hear great sequence great albums album. as well. You know, right. you want to have it, a, you want it to start, you know, want to have a build up. Then you want it to have, you know, just like anything else, like any, any great story, right? Regardless of what it is, whether it's music, movies, books, whatever, any great, every great story in the history of time has these elements, right? It has a bill. It comes on, it builds up to something. It has a, a moment of tension, of height, you know, when it hits the height. Like on this album, that's Rock Boys and Success. It's that moment where everything is great, and then it has a, it lets you down smooth. And, you know, a, hopefully the last song you have is something that people walk away with and can't get out of their mind. You know? I've been searching for a clip like this for about two years. This is stuff people don't really be talking about. And it goes to show you what separates real niggas from the fake. You know, I tried to take your bitch ass off screen a little bit, man. But, you know, you pick up the sound. You don't pick up the sound that well when you was really low. Like, I'm trying to, like, write you out of this group 82 family. Because you are a bitch ass nigga. My ducks, my swans, welcome to the pond. My name is Dorian from group82music.com and right here we got Jay-Z talking about how to sequence an album. I'm so glad that he said this. I'm so glad that he did this. Now, there's two things here. One thing that I disagree with and another thing that I really do agree with. Back then, albums were stories and people still bought projects and they still had the CD and you got the booklet and you opened it up and you had to peel that damn sticky ass adhesive shit with the album title on there you had to have your nails and dig inside of it and half of us getting on your shirt and in your pants and you know what i mean it took forever to open a goddamn album which actually kind of built up the anticipation and the excitement from when you actually got a chance to listen to it and you love when you got an album that had arcs and it told a story and it was something that you could live with and ride with in your car this is some real 80s baby shit right here some of you 90s babies can get it too but after that all y'all got all this digital streaming shit it's not like that anymore when you have an album I don't really believe that you need to have it start low because people are willing to listen to one song. And if you get them with one song, they'll probably listen to two. But then after that, they are skipping and they want to hear the beat and the drop and the words immediately. It's not like it used to be. Like when you go listen to a good kid, Mad City, right? There's an intro, it kind of walks you in and it has sounds like <laughs> Whatever that sound that starts off a damn album and it sets you up to being kind of a woozy, dreary, storytelling, I'm in Compton in an October, fall, evening type of feel. You can't do that anymore. You gotta start your albums off with a hit. You gotta start your albums off with something that people really fuck with. We listen to my album, True Support. I put my most popular song and my song that immediately draws you in, Don't Sleep, number one. Now, back in the day, I would've put Don't Sleep probably number four, number five. But I wanted to put it number one because that is a song that people like. Like, as soon as it comes on, it gets you. That beat comes on, it kinda has a reset after like 20 seconds that gets you connected and keeps you hooked with that motherfucker. So like, I wanted to keep that there. And then Dope is the next one, and then Rotate, and then Bout That. And those are all these songs that within the first four songs of my album on True Support, you got a good idea what kind of artist I am and if you fucking with me. The part I do agree with is the last songs at the end, it needs to be something that has a very infectious melody. It needs to be something that sticks in people's heads. It needs to be something that is an earworm, right? On my album, True Support, even Love Me is probably the song that is the most earwormish. That piano melody sticks in your head and the singer, she did an outstanding job of matching the melody, what I wrote for her. And so you're able to really remember that hook. She Like That is the technically the last song on the album. And that kind of has a... I did kind of put stuff in there that I want you to remember. Think about this when you're sequencing your projects. 
You got to sequence your projects for the digital era. We are no longer this era where you're going to Circuit City and Best Buy and opening up CDs. People want to get right to the point and they want to hear what your music is about, which sucks because interludes and skits and intros and outros don't mean as much as they used to, but at the same time, you're able to get paid off your music nonstop without having to actually sell CDs at your trunk. So, which would you rather do? How do you sequence your albums? For those of you that make art, for those of you that make music, if you write, TV, if you write video games or movies, or if you do anything creatively, where there's some sort of storyline, write in the comments, I really wanna know. If you're on Instagram, you an artist, you a musician, ready to take this shit to the next level, click the link in the bio, purchase more package for 60% off. If you're on YouTube, click the link in the description box, purchase more package for 60% off, right now. I'm not the bomb. Y'all stay true. Naptown duck sauce. And I said it once again with the utmost. And I said it once again, you will not cross. And I said it once again, you was too soft. And I said, can you spread with your bottoms off? And she said that she said she don't need it though. And she said what she said, but she said. Group82music.com.